Changing careers isn't unusual, but it's not every day you hear a story like this. Doug Lynham used to be a monk, but now he has found a new calling, financial advisor. He's also the author of the book, From Monk to Money Manager, a former monk's financial guide to becoming a little bit wealthy and why that's okay. And Doug, thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for having me here. Uh, the book is fascinating. Uh, we've spoken with you in the past, but I, I want to dig into this a little bit deeper. First of all, you grew up in a wealthy family. Why, why did you decide to become a monk and take a vow of poverty? Well, growing up in a wealthy family, it turns out that money was weaponized, and so it was used to control and manipulate people. Hmm. And so I ran away to a monastery and took a vow of poverty, where I thought I'd be free from the grip of money and materialism forever. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't work out quite so well. Right. <laughs> right. And what what, what uh, changed your path and changed your mind? What what kind of made you think, okay, maybe a little bit of wealth is okay? Well, when the monastery went bankrupt, right, we faced a, a bankruptcy, and that was really quite catastrophic and devastating. And then I vowed to learn everything I could about money management to make sure that I didn't repeat the mistakes of the monastery or of my family. Mm -hmm. And so that both extremes are problematic. And then I noticed something really curious, which is that monastery guests who would come with spiritual problems um, often had financial problems lurking behind that. Huh. And I realized I had some skills to help. And so um, they would ask me to pray for them, which I do, right? <laughs> but God's not going to work a miracle to solve a problem that you have the power to fix. When did you start drawing cartoons along the way? <laughs> oh, uh, about a year ago with a friend of mine. So I have some help with that, with Dave Hall, who's an illustrator. But um, we work together on those projects, and we have a lot of fun with it. Um, some people think that embracing wealth can be unvirtuous. There are even Bible verses that yeah. kind of point to this, that if you really want to be truly embracing God, that you have to give everything away. How do, how do you kind of reconcile those two thoughts? Well, some people in the, in the past have argued that money is the root of all evil, mm -hmm. and I completely disagree. It turns out that money is the root of everything, right, good and evil. But I think much of our um, fear around money comes from an old world understanding of economics, right? So in the old days, wealth was pretty much zero sum, right? Mm -hmm. So for one person to become wealthy, they almost always had to oppress somebody else. Mm -hmm. In a modern economy, that's not true. No one has to suffer for me to earn, save, and ethically invest my money. So it's not zero sum anymore, and so there's no reason why we should be scared of wealth or be afraid of money, because money's not the problem. Right. Poverty is. Right? Oh, and, and honestly, that's a, that's a pretty spirited defense of capitalism, ethical yeah. capitalism, if you look at it, making sure that people are taking their money, reinvesting to make sure that it helps and benefits other people's lives. Doug, what, what are some of the most common problems that people have come to you, have faced in terms of their finances, and, and how have you fixed them? Well, I think the biggest problem I see is they don't understand what I call the holy trinity of finance, which is earning, saving, and investing. So even if you make a lot of money, obviously if you spend all of it, right, you're still going to be broke. And I see a lot of folks who will save money, but they will, they're scared to invest it, right? And so if you don't get the, the compound growth that comes through investing, then you're never really going to have the kind of wealth necessary to retire comfortably. And actually, you're losing money as inflation picks up along the way. Your, the value of your dollar is going down. And maybe the biggest, the biggest misnomer in all of finance is the idea that you can save your way to retirement. Right? If you, unless you can save millions of dollars, you're never going to get to a comfortable retirement simply by saving your money in the bank. You have to be able to invest it as you go along the way. And I see a lot of clients who either stay in cash or in really defensive investments, and they, their wealth never grows, and they end up in a very bad spot when it comes to retirement. Doug, thank you. Those are some excellent words of wisdom. I really appreciate your time, and good luck with the book. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on.